Today, we are going to be looking at one of the most overused terms in the collecting world, that being the term Holy Grail. That's right, today we are looking at the term Holy Grail, one of the most overused terms in all of collecting. And before we do so, as I've told you, we are on pace for 2,021 subscribers. That's what we're focused on. That's what we're aiming for for the end of this year. And as of right now, we are over 800, which is awesome. So thank you so much for your support. If you've not done so already, go ahead and hit me with a presumptive like. Go ahead and give us a follow. Give us a subscription. Turn on your notifications so that you know when all this amazing content drops. But without further ado, let's get into, as I said, one of the most overused terms in the collecting world, that being the term grail. And I think it's important for us to learn kind of where this term comes from and what it's all about. Now, given a quick history lesson, the term Holy Grail is traditionally thought to be the cup that Jesus used at the Last Supper. Now, this has made its way into pop culture, obviously with Indiana Jones looking for the Holy Grail, and all throughout history, people have been trying to find this legendary artifact. But the thing about the Holy Grail is that there's only one of them. So with that being said, not everything in the collecting world can be a grail. Especially in the six scale world, everyone says if there is a rare figure, oh, this is my grail piece. This is my grail that I'm looking forward to. But did you know that there are actually some true grails that are out there in the six scale and Hot Toys specifically community? And today we're going to be looking at the top seven Hot Toys Holy Grails. Let's get going. Since Hot Toys released their first figure in 1999, they've become some of the most sought after and popular six scale collecting that's available for us out there. Before they were branded Hot Toys, they were known as Famous Types. They were unlicensed, unbranded, and there were only 500 pieces of each of these made. They were made between 1999 and 2003, and we were able to get Ethan Hunt, able to get George Lucas, and Neo from The Matrix. These three pieces are some of the first out there, and still, it's not the greatest of quality. You can score some of these pieces for around 300 to 800 bucks on the secondary market. As I just mentioned, the first ever Hot Toys figure was Ethan Hunt, Tom Cruise from Mission Impossible. The very first official Hot Toys branded figure was once again Tom Cruise, this being Maverick from Top Gun. This figure was limited to 5,000 pieces, and as was Hot Toys' reputation at that time and today, it of course sold out. Now, although it was labeled Hot Toys, they still did not have the licensing or the branding for it, so it was known as The Pilot. As you can imagine, this is a very scarce figure, but despite that, being able to pick this up for around $200 on the secondary market because of the historical significance, I think is quite the steal. Next up is Hot Toys Billie Jean Michael Jackson, released in 2009. While this is not the first Michael Jackson figure or the best Michael Jackson figure, it was released, as I said, in 2009, right around his death. And so naturally, collectors did what they do and snagged those up as quick as they became available. Now you can happen to find them if you're lucky on the secondary market for around $1,000, but a couple of my honorable mentions would be the other Michael Jackson figures because I think they're a little bit better overall and give you a little bit better value. It is generally argued that the Michael Jackson bad version is the best of the lot, but the Thriller version, which comes with two different bodies, as well as two different head sculpts, as well as the Beat It version, are the superior figures. Next up on the list comes from the Alien vs. Predator franchise, that being the Scar Predator 8 Anacom exclusive model kit released in 2006. Although not strictly an action figure, it remains one of Hot Toys' most popular products. The MMS-18 Scar Predator figure was released only at the convention and around only 200 of these were made. If you're lucky, you can find them and nab them for around 1,000, but I've seen some going for over $2,000. All right, let's get into some of the heavy hitters. Now, there's gonna be some variants with this one, which naturally means if there's variants, that means big money. Next up on our list is another promotion exclusive, this time with between Hot Toys and a company called Silly Things, and they gave us a gunmetal exclusive Iron Man Mark III. The first one is the 2009 Comic-Con exclusive gunmetal Iron Man figure, which is extremely difficult to get and highly sought after by collectors. However, the more collectible of the lot is the far more rare version, that being the partnership with Silly Things. Hot Toys and Silly Things collaborated to make a much smaller batch of this variant, and that's the one that brings in the big money. 
From what I can gather, only 300 of these special promotional pieces were made, and they are going to bring you a pretty penny coming in at around $3,000. Vito Corleone, The Godfather, is one of the next ones on our list, and while released in 2009 and the original figure is a tough get, in 2011 they reissued this figure to help with Tsunami Relief. These charity figures were apparently limited to only 20 pieces with the following upgrades and changes. A better head sculpt, better old looking man hands, his beloved cat, and much better articulation and tailoring. If you are lucky enough to find one of these special figures, you're going to be paying in the neighborhood of $10,000 for this special figure. And finally, let's bring it home with the grail of grails in the Hot Toys community. And who else would it be than their number one moneymaker, Iron Man? In 2012, Hot Toys released two versions of the Mark VI Iron Man figure for the new Avengers movie. The first was the movie promo edition, and that was limited to around 3,000 pieces worldwide. The second figure was a joint promotional edition with 7-Up Hong Kong. The figure featured a light-up base, and if you look carefully between the two, you can see that this one has a little bit of a different hairstyle. The figure was limited to only 16 pieces worldwide and were available exclusively in Hong Kong. So naturally, the market is going to be much, much smaller on this one. If you are able to nab this incredible, rare, holy grail of hot toys, you are going to be expected to pay around $35,000 for this special Iron Man piece. Well, that's going to do it for the Hot Toys Holy Grails. I hope you've enjoyed this video, a little bit different take, but I think it's important to know what's really out there so that we can better assess our current collections. Not everything is a grail out there, but if there's something that means something to you and it is special to you, of course, collect what you like, collect what you want, and collect what you love. Without further ado, as I've said, we're gonna wrap it up here, but if you've not done so already, hit us with a like, hit us with a subscription. As I said, we're pushing forward to 2,021 subscribers. I think we're gonna get there really soon soon, but the next video on this list, which you will not want to miss, is our special collaboration with my buddy Anthony as we do a video vlog of the ICCC in Nashville. It's going to be awesome. You won't want to miss it, and I will see you in our next video.